TYT Investigates is a new investigative journalism channel on the TYT network. I'm really proud of it actually. We already have the undercurrent on there, Lauren Windsor, and she does some great uh, looks into grassroots movements across the country. And now we've got a series of documentaries that we're going to release. They're about 30 minutes each. We're going to do four this year. Uh, they are in collaboration with the Center for Investigative Reporting. They are funded by the MacArthur Foundation. That's terrific. And uh, the first one is Who Took Down Stockton? And it's about the bankruptcy of the city of Stockton. I think it's really informative. Let's take a quick look here at a piece of it. I know that for many Americans watching right now, the state of our economy is a concern that rises above all others. If you haven't been personally affected by this recession, you probably know someone who has. A friend, a neighbor, a member of your family. Since President Obama gave this speech in February 2009, 33 municipalities across the country have filed for bankruptcy. Okay, once. White. Not since the Great Depression have so many cities been so broke. No other place in America has borne the brunt more than the Central Valley city of Stockton, California, the largest city in American history to file for bankruptcy. This is going to kill someone. This may have national implications if municipal bonds have no safety. The headlines tell a story of greedy unions versus short-changed creditors. Those companies stand to lose $160 million. But we've gone deeper. We've looked at the deals. We now know what brought Stockton to its knees. Every generation, we've got to have a freaking crisis. It's a story of a city that had big dreams it couldn't afford. Everyone was a little complicit. Of the greedy bankers who exploited it. It was just open and blatant. And of the people who are now paying the price. Give us our money back. No, I love it. I think you might be able to recognize that voice. It was narrated by J.R. Jackson. It was produced and directed by Shivala Madlena, who did a great job on it. She used to write for The Guardian. And I loved it because, look, we do a lot of opinion and commentary on this show. I don't need opinion in the documentaries. What we need is investigative reporting and facts, and that's exactly what we're doing here. We're trying to find out what actually happened. And it's not a black and white issue, it's not simple. You know, there's a lot of people who were complicit in Stockton going under. So now, yes, some of it was definitely the bankers. And what's fascinating, what I learned partly from this documentary, is that the bankers go around trying to go to different cities into doing expensive bond projects. Oh yeah, build a stadium, it'll be great. Oh, don't worry about how you're gonna pay for it. And, oh, build a giant sewer system in Jefferson County, Alabama, it'll be worth it. And this is a scam that, that they run, and, and actually oftentimes it involves payoffs. So watch the documentary for that. But also the locals made mistakes. Why? Because if you're the mayor of that town, you wanna build that stadium. You don't wanna say to everybody, I built that stadium, right? And, but in the end, when you go bankrupt, it's got severe consequences. So one of the guys that are featured in the documentary is a cop who worked on the force for 17 years, now he's got a brain tumor. They're like, no, you, know, you don't get health care anymore, and you didn't make it 20 years, you're not going to get your pension because of the cutbacks. It's literally a death sentence for him. And that is jarring, man. So I love that we are diving deeper with these documentaries to find out exactly what went wrong so that we can begin to fix it. Check out this one, Who Took Down Stockton? Uh, and we've got three more coming up for you as well. Check out all the stuff on TYT Investigates. Uh, we're just going to grow bigger and bigger. And uh, thanks for viewing it and thanks for your participation.